Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Aguilu. I'm glad to share with you some of my experiences here at Vera Aqua Vera Vita. Um, I, I come from Lima, Peru. I'm here in the US since August 2019. I came here to finish my MBA at the University of Dallas. And almost one year after coming here, I had the opportunity to meet Vera Aqua Vera Vita on October 2020, when I started to do some internships here in this organization. And it's been an incredible time. So far, I've been able to bring support in different areas. And uh, one interesting thing about Veracqua Veravita is that it's an organization that understands the sense of urgency. We understand that we need to work together with the government to provide water to people in need. For example, we work with, in partnership with the Pure Regional Government. And I bring some support in building contracts and uh, agreements, minutes, etc. using my skills as I have a, as a lawyer. In Peru, I'm a lawyer. And here I learned some other skills that I'm putting a lot of in practice here in, with my work in Veraco Veravita. So this is an organization that understands the sense of urgency in people all around the world, and especially in Peru, because that's where we are operating mostly now. There's a, a great need of water, safe water in the northern part of Peru, where people have to walk around 15 hours a week, losing time that they could be using for work or for studies. And this is something that we need to fight people despite spending all this time in their daily lives they still have to get used to boil water which is still not safe after being boiled they consume water that is have some certain degree of heavy metal after being boiled and well originally speaking originally this water is not supposed to be for human consumption also, this water has some organic and inorganic waste that is not, it's not appropriate. There's a lot of that of that's because of water consumption um, that is not um, suitable for human consumption. In, in the same vein, there's people that not necessarily die because of this, but they get seriously sick and in, including long-term diseases. In Lima, for example, just a few miles away from my house, there are some neighborhoods that struggle with water and that do not have water in their houses. They have to walk down the hill every day or wait for trucks to go uphill to bring water. And this is not comfortable at all. So we want to approach these people in need with a sense of urgency and help help each each uh, help the government and I mean build a solid partnership and be able to to respond to this urgent matter. Not only in Peru, but for example in Nigeria, 61% of rural people um, just uh, do not have safe water and. They have to walk five or six miles a day to get water. So I encourage you to also join this effort either as a volunteer, as a sponsor, or as a donor, so we can fight together this water crisis. Thank you.